Hello, this is George from Microsoft, and today I wanted to talk a little bit about the arpeggiator in MIDI effects. So, this is the arpeggiator, it's connected to this piano module, and it's going through the two mono module, which is just uh, making sure notes are held. Like this, if I press a key, it's going to be held, and the arpeggiator is going to run until I press the same key again. So let's hear it. So that's the arpeggiator running. Okay, so each step we are setting the semitones. So zero means the note that you play, plus four in this case is a major third, plus seven is a major five, and then plus 12 is the octave higher. So if I press a C, it's going to press C, mm, E, G, and then C. If I change the note, it's the same. Okay, so this is like the basic mode of the arpeggiator, but then the interesting thing is that you can set a scale and use the intervals for the scale. So if we go down here and we select keep to scale and we choose a scale, let's choose C major first. So now these intervals are not semitones anymore. So if we want to make the same kind of um, arpeggio we, we were playing before with a third and a fifth and then the octave, we have to count in, in notes from the scale. So in this case it would be C, D, C, D, E, that's two steps for the third, and then it's four steps for the fifth, and it's seven steps for the octave. So if I press a C, it's, we're going to hear the same. The interesting thing is that if I press a, uh, a D, now we're going to hear a minor, minor arpeggio. So like this, if you're playing a song and you have the root note and you have your scale, then you can choose the, the same scale in the arpeggiator and whenever you change chords in your chord progression, you're going to have the arpeggiator follow the same uh, scale. Okay, so I have a bigger setup now and just wanted to show how you can use arpeggiators to improvise over a changing chord progression. So, as I showed before, we have the main keyboard, which in this case is on the app, but you can use an external one. And we have it connected to two arpeggiators this time. So one is for the bass, and the other one is for the chord um, sequence. So you can see 0x, 0x means 0 is going to be the note we play and X is going to be uh, a silence. And the note we play, it's transposed because we are playing on an octave lower for the bass, so it's transposed, so it sounds higher. And then it's harmonized in the same scale, a third up. So we can hear a chord. Right now it's muted, so you're only going to hear the bass first, then I'll add the chords. And this is great for playing on top of it, like I can put this and I can play something. So let's hear the chords. Maybe some drums. Thank you. 
that's it. Thank you for listening. I think this is a good tool to improvise chord progressions and in a live setting. And you can add as many layers as you want. So with different modules, you can change. And from one key press, you are constructing a whole part of the song. So yeah, try it out. Download the application. Link is below. And any feedback you have, questions you might have, leave a comment, send me an email. My email address is in the application itself. And yeah, enjoy, keep making music, and I'll see you in the next video.